Wild Bill. Yeah. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. Well, Ernie Elliott. Oh, I'll put it back so you can see. Whoops. The the engine speed that they could attain with the gearing they could attain back then. I mean, if you took the power that a NASCAR engine makes right now and just let them go for broke, they'd be going 260. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for all the rules that NASCAR yeah. has mandated for that, they would be killing drivers right and left. So that's the limiting factor, the carburetor, right? That's how they slow it down. Engine speed is the limiting factor. Ah, okay. Which is why they have restricted engines. A restricted engine keeps the engine speed down, which means you can only gear it X amount, which means you can only hit it X speed. The engine speed. The, how, what were they turning RPM back then in 87 compared to now? 7,500. Okay, eight grand maybe. It, well, no, they weren't there. Really? Okay. They, they, they back then in '87. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But they were probably at eight. The power they have now. Oof. Crazy. Yeah, if they let them go, it's like top fuelers. If they let the top fuelers go, they'd be go 400. Oh yeah. I'm going to call up Ernie Elliott and Bill Elliott's off their, their office or building or whatever business and try to get a hold of them, and get them on here. There, there's <laughs> only one reason we can't go any faster than we can. Rules. Insurance companies. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you a video. It's on my website, my channel here. I made it and filmed it. Piston valve clearance measuring it three different ways so you can see the difference. I'll, I'll send you a video. You're welcome. Watch out. Let the kids go to college. We'll help you. I don't know much about them. Uh, Kazi and I have worked together for decades. He did an awesome job of taking the, the standard head and modifying it to where you could actually get a port in there and actually do something with it. Um, yeah, those are the, those are probably the best standard conventional conventional is kind of a, a hard topic anymore like conventional big block chevy heads sure. now we have uh of course the, the conventional head is 26 and then we had 24 and 22 and now we have 20 degrees that are raised way up halfway in between a spread port you can't call that conventional i mean the last conventional head i designed was the profiler sniper 375 which moves 460 CFM, where the uh, 20 degree will move 540, 550. Wow. So you, you can't call that conventional in any shape, way, or form. Well, let's think about wrapping this up. We're already at three hours and 39 minutes, but there's 208 really? people. Yeah. And uh, that's amazing that we could sit here and talk for that long, nonstop, bringing up all kinds of stuff that everyone's getting to learn and ask a question hopefully we didn't miss anybody but what do you think about doing this again sometime i got to give you a break i can't work you too much you know <laughs> i have stood in front of people and talked for 12 hours so yeah it doesn't phase me nope i do it too every day sometimes 14 hours but let's see what else we got here <laughs> yeah. Mercedes pushrod. That's an interesting engine. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the Mercedes had a cross pushrod. Okay. So you had one pushrod coming up. You had a rocker arm. Okay. That actuated another pushrod that went to the other side of the cylinder head that actuated oh. another fucking rocker arm that pushed the valve down. So you I mean, had how, two can it how could it be running high RPM with all that? Geometry. Well, it didn't run relatively. It was, a, I forget exactly yeah. the rule loophole that they fit into, but it didn't have to turn a lot of engine speed. And, and I, I forget that whole scenario, but that was a really cool engine. And yeah, the, the G forces on those guys. It's crazy. Amazing. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you the video. I'll put it up. I'll put it on the back of this video so you can see it at the end of here. And I'll, I'll make sure you guys can see that.
So thanks. Listening on the road. A lot of people are listening to this on the road. That's kind of amazing. I've gotten a lot of things from people saying, look, I'm driving, I'm working. I'm a truck driver. I listen to you guys while we're talking. Uh, let's see. You're welcome. Allowed unlimited boost running push rods. Must be one of the advantages or something. He's probably talking about the, uh, the Mercedes. Mercedes yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So let's wrap it up. Here's what we'll do. We'll end it now. Let me just get that out there so we can see each other. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up another time. We'll give you a break, Darren, so you don't have to worry about it for a little while. Um, we'll come up with some more questions. I just can't believe 200 people were been doing this for three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, don't forget, <laughs> hit the like button. Let's try to get more than 80 likes. There's 200 people on here. Better have at least 200 <laughs> likes. Come on. And um, we'll get this going again. We'll, we'll have to come up with a different theme. Or if there's got questions, you email me the questions and I'll get them to Darren. And we'll talk about them here on our next chat. And uh, I appreciate everybody that's been here. So thanks. I'm going to end it right now, Darren. And um, right. thank you guys. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. He's from Vegas. He invited us out there to see the Shelby Museum. We'll go out there. Appreciate yeah, it. Definitely spend a day out there. Let's do it then. We'll make him a plan a trip and we'll go out and see Anthony Ivaconio, a video. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.